You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Well, what a beautiful sunset there. Plenty of clouds, though, on this cold day. This is a live look from Rattlesnake Peak. Yeah, it looks warmer than it is out there, although not as bad as it has no. been, Jason. Yeah, we've had a lot of below average temperatures between the lows and the highs recently. We're not going to break out of that pattern, but today was closer to average than we've been for quite some time. And also a beautiful looking almost sunset there as we take a look out in the western sky. Temperatures, as you can see, are still below average though. Right now, 57 degrees in Redding is 55 degrees in Chico, 47 degrees in Paradise and 46 degrees in Chester. We have those high clouds moving overhead right now. There's some spotty snow showers trying to fall mostly over Siskiyou County, but that's really all we're expecting from this minor disturbance. We have much bigger fish to fry going for So 11 o'clock tonight, we'll have a lot of clouds over our northeastern counties and some spotty light snow showers, but really nothing hitting the ground, especially compared to what we've already had. A mostly clear beginning on Friday, but then we'll have increasing clouds throughout the day and the temperatures will stay below average. But again, they're going to be about as warm today as they were or tomorrow as they were today. And then here come the changes those clouds just signaling our changing weather pattern by 8 o'clock in the morning. More snow already occurring over Siskiyou, parts of Shasta and certainly a lot of Trinity County. We'll have a chance for some late morning rain around the valley as well as the foothills and this rain is going to be turning to snow there with plenty of snow for the Sierra and the Southern Cascades. A brief break from the active weather early Saturday evening, but we have more rain and snow coming our way. We'll also have stronger wind Saturday than Sunday, but Sunday is still going to be a breezy day and then a second Second storm moving our way by Monday and Tuesday will reinforce our chances for some rain and snow. And we actually have the potential about seven to nine days from now for yet a third storm from this overall trough weather pattern. So it's going to be active for us. Now, as far as the precipitation that we're expecting, still looking like healthy amounts over the course of the next seven days. In the valley, most places between a quarter of an inch and one and a half inches, but we could receive more than that in the northern part of the valley. Then look at these water equivalents for the Sierra and the southern and cascades between two and three and a half inches of precipitation, which roughly translates to two to three and a half feet of snow. I'm going to show you those snowfall totals coming up on our second half hour and the wind delightfully light for at least the next 24 hours or so. And then once that storm on Saturday gets closer and closer, here comes that gusty wind. First of all, coming out of the southeast, some gusts between 30 and 45 miles an hour will once again be possible and we'll still have more breezes blowing on Sunday, just not quite as windy as Saturday is going to be. So we already have widespread winter storm warnings for all the foothills and the mountains. A winter weather advisory out from Modoc and parts of Siskiyou County from early Saturday morning through at least 10 o'clock Monday morning. But we have additional storms coming next week, which means more advisories, watches and warnings and the amounts that we're expecting over a thousand feet between four and 18 inches of snow possible, especially the highest peaks. And then you get to the levels above 2,500 feet, one to five feet of snow possible and some strong gusty wind in excess of 50 to 55 miles an hour. But right now, it's much quieter. So we'll have lows tonight in the lower to mid 30s for the valley. Single digits, teens and 20s for the higher elevations. Tomorrow's highs about where they were today. 30s and 40s for the higher elevations. Mid to upper 50s in the valley, but that's still 6 to 7 degrees below average for the third day of March tomorrow. Next seven days in Chico, it's still very active for us. Gusty wind and rainy weather Saturday and Sunday. More rain Monday and Tuesday, but no days where we're going to be above average. And for Reading, upper 50s tomorrow. Then look at that. Upper 40s. 40s and lower 50s from Saturday through at least next Thursday, with most days bringing us chances for some snow and rain mixes in the morning and some rain in the afternoon. All right. Thanks, Jason.